setting the scene. Sleep is just as important as exercise and nutrition when it comes to overall health. Yet it's not always given the same level of attention. And I want to bring that up level with it. And this is something that I have only just newly um, been doing myself and been reflecting on. Because when I was at my most stressed, I was um, sleeping absolute ratchet. And it wasn't until we've been delving into optimizing sleep a bit more that I realized actually how terribly I had slept before and the relationship that I had with sleep. And so uh, I don't think that you're just going to be able to turn around and just do this this week and then like solved. <laughs> this is about like lifetime of habits and, and your beliefs around um, sleep and why you may be sleep um, deprived versus um, or why you may need way too much sleep um, because you're not sleeping, uh, getting quality sleep. Sleep regulates your insulin. You know, you might be a regular person eating regular amounts of sugar and just sleeping absolutely terribly and your blood sugar will be ratchet. Inflammation is a big one. How many of you felt um, really achy before? I have touched, this is an interesting one because I have touched hundreds of people in my life. As a, in the city, I would use skin fold pinching on my, my clients and I've probably pinched hundreds of people of, of skin, just feeling skin texture in people. Uh, and so <laughs> some of you might have had me just be like, oh, you'll look, let come here, let me feel you. And I'll just start grabbing people because that is like my sixth sense of how someone is feeling inside. I can actually feel the quality of the tissue, how inflamed the tissue is. And the response when you squeeze the tissue, you should be able to pinch skin and draw it off and it shouldn't be painful. I've pinched people who have had um, liposuction and the, all the tissue is just petrified to people who are really, really nimble and their tissue is really silky and buttery to people who are highly inflamed where the tissue is just so taut and hard and you just can't tell the difference between whether you've got skin or their muscle. You just can't, can't tell, they don't separate. So inflammation is a huge one. Are you all just like grabbing your arm right now and feeling what the tissue feels like under there? <laughs> Squeeze it. Can you feel that you're pulling the skin off and it snaps back? Or is it just one thing? You know, you can give yourself the little squeeze test and, and feel, does it hurt to do that? Is it like, ow, does it turn red? Then that's a sign of inflammation. The immune system, oh, last two years has been all about immune system, hasn't it? So if you're not sleeping, you're just not going to look after your body as well. We tend to have higher body fat. We see more deposition around that middle of the waist area, which is highly linked in with the blood sugar and also social interaction, which is interesting. Um, and I'm going to go into that a little bit further with some research. Uh, but poor sleep hygiene and incorrect exposure or timing or exposure to light as well can influence your eating habits, how well you digest how well you regulate your body temperature, what hormones are released and not released, your blood sugar regulation, as I said, but also your emotional perception and your empathy towards others is really, really affected by the quality of your sleep. We also know, Mr. Uh, Professor Matthew Walker talks about this a lot on all the various chronic health conditions that are linked to poor sleep rhythms. We've mentioned diabetes already but uh, depression is a big one, bipolar disorder, seasonal affective disorder, immune dysregulation, increased inflammation, cardiovascular disease, the list goes on, but you get the picture. When you go to bed later than 11 o'clock, your dopamine release the next day is a lot lower. Now, dopamine is the neurotransmitter for drive and determination. So if you're going to bed really late, then the next day you're piddling around wasting time and you're less efficient so if you just went to bed an hour earlier you probably would have been able to do that thing pretty quick the next day